Hey guys, Karan here. Welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. So today we are gonna look at the simple and short review of Aonovis Custom Room, which is an unofficial build and available for Redmi Note 8 and Redmi Note 8T. This is a unified build, so you can install this build on both of your devices. Like if you are using Redmi Note 8, then you can use this build, and if you are using Redmi Note 8T, then you can also use this build on your device. So, what are the things you get in this custom room? What is the default camera, Geekbench score, and GCam? Everything in this worth everything in this video. So, let's get started. This is I have my Redmi Note 8 and I am using Aonovis custom room which is based on Android 10 and you get the security patch of 5th of April 2020 the latest security patch also you got the Google Play system update of 10 which is based on Android 10 and also the kernel version which you got here is the Strom breaker kernel by default installed okay I have not installed this kernel as a third party kernel I have installed this kernel as uh, uh, this kernel is by default available in this custom room this build is both of this build is for both of the devices I am using Redmi Note 8 and it is showing Redmi Note 8T this is not the big case so not an issue at all okay so let's get started and let's check out some other things the launcher which you get here by default is obviously pixel launcher this is based on pixel and you get the pixel launcher android 10 pixel launcher version 10 some features of pixel launcher included like add icon to home screen display google app enable grid options some developer options are available in the launcher too like these are the options you get here if you want to use them you can try out if you have idea what you are doing at all some other things which you get like the widgets and in styles and wallpapers you can change wallpapers a lot of wallpapers options are available also you get some live wallpapers from pixel which is a pretty much great thing and if you love to use pixel devices then you can use these wallpapers and these wallpaper looks pretty much awesome you have also the option of styles and by default you only get the single style you can create your own styles here in clock you get a lot of clock styles available whichever you like you can choose that and here wallpaper I have already shown you by default you get the pixel launcher so let's check out some features of this room like the default camera which you get here is the ANX camera here it is ANX camera is perfectly working without any issues at all but yes unfortunately this one is 48 megapixel this one is working too portrait mode is also working I think yes portrait mode is also working too the main thing is the macro and ultra wide both are not working at all let's see check out yes again so this error is not fixed yet unfortunately but that's not the big case you got the default stock camera in a custom room that's a very good thing too another positive thing is gcam i am using gcam 7.2 which is perfectly working without any issues at all you can use portrait mode you can use camera mode video mode and a lot of things if you have idea what you are doing everything is working perfectly without any issues that's a very good thing too good things are available already and let's check out some other things like what is the geekbench score which you get here is the geekbench score which you get here is a single core is very much good like 310 is the single core score multi core score is 1290 which is not that much awesome but still something is good 1290 is the multi core score so that's that's the score which you get here let's check out some features of this custom room which you get only in this custom room the features you already get like network and internet connected devices apps battery display all of the features are available in all the custom rooms so that's why i am giving a short review like ionizer these are the features you only get in this room so we will take a look at those features first of all interface you have the option of theming like ASIN color headline body font and icon shape you can customize your quick settings panel here you can choose screen density like font size display size and smallest width and at last you have the option of dashboard options you get these options in interface section in status bar you can customize your clock carrier label and also you have the option of network traffic if you want to use you can use these things like in status bar here it is the network traffic monitor in the status bar also you have the option to choose whichever thing you like in your status bar so these are the things these are the customization option you get here 
यू कैन ऑल्सो चूज अ बैटरी आइकन बैटरी स्टाइल बैटरी परसेंटेज इन स्टेटस बार आइटम्स विच एवर आइटम्स यू वॉन्ट टू इनेबल एंड विच एवर आइटम्स यू वॉन्ट टू हाइड यू कैन यूज दैम टू आइकन वोल्टी आइकन यू कैन इनेबल I have no SIM which use Volti, so I cannot tell you that it is working or not. Volti is working or not? I have no idea regarding that, but it should work probably. The one user reported that. So just gestures are there. Gestures are working too. In quick settings, you can customize your columns, rows, obviously, and also the tiles, tile title, vibration on touch. You can choose the quick settings header like battery in quick setting header, battery percentage. Also brightness slider, brightness slider on bottom, auto brightness icon, minimum, maximum icon here. Quick setting footer warnings. Also you can customize your quick setting footer text like this one. Here you can see hashtag icon. You can customize this text too. Running services icon and settings icon. These are the settings you get here. You can also have the option of buttons, playback control option. You can choose. You can customize your power menu to choose advanced reboot and screenshot options here. In navigation, you have the option to enable navigation bar or not. I am using full screen gestures, which are working very, very good. Lock screen, you have the option of these things like music visualizer, double tap on home screen, double tap to sleep on lock screen, extra status bar on lock screen, quick settings, hide lock icon, and a lot of things. Fingerprint authentication, vibration, fingerprint error, vibration, force, biometric unlock, etc. notifications you can choose heads up and noise notifications etc all other features are same like you have the option of edge lighting too which is available and etc etc gaming mode is option is available to ime settings screen animations force expanded settings show cpu info a lot of things are there and at last in about as i already shown you this is air room so this was all from the short review this is not a full review i am again telling you don't comment below like i have not shown you the pubg review i have not tell you told you the battery bat battery backup and all other things like that this is only the review of the features of air room and some things which are available in this room like anx and gcam etc okay so this was it from today's video i hope you like this video if you like this don't 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 forget to hit the like button so this was all thanks for watching goodbye see you in the next video very soon